Ladies and gentlemen, the rumors were surprisingly not fake and my video that I uploaded yesterday surprisingly turned out to not be clickbait. So today, let's talk about CSGO's new Operation Riptide overall and what it entails. This is actually not going to be an investing guide that will probably be uploaded sometime this week, but just an overall rundown. So of course, if you enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And quickly, before we get into it, let's check out our sponsor, Skinport. Skinport is a CSGO marketplace that allows you to get CSGO skins for 20-30% to off Steam market price. If you're interested in looking to finesse some old operation skins while they're still cheap because the old operation collections weren't reused, now is the time. Desert Eagle Emerald Rogman Ganders, for example, are around 25% off on Skinport, and of course, if you're looking to sell skins for real money, Skimport is great for that too, only a 12% selling fee for items under $1000 and for items over $1000, that drops off to a 6% selling fee. And as it all goes without saying, they are completely trusted by not only other YouTubers but a 4.9 rating on Trustpilot, so be sure to sign up with that link in the description today, help support me and of course helps you save a ton of money on investing and buying skins. But for now, let's get right into the video. So now, let's talk about specifics of the operation. First of all, what's different than the past operations like Broken Fang and Shattered Web? Well, the collections are for sure, which is great for investors, but it's also slightly different. For some reason, just the train collection, you're available to choose whichever skin tier you want using a specific number of stars up to 100. So it's a very interesting change, especially with one of the reds, the Glock having an emerald pattern. So in my eyes, it's a great way for users to spend more stars and I'm sure Valve are going to be happy with the results. But besides the outlier of the train collection, all the others are the exact same as they were with Broken Fang, where you can spend 4 stars on the certain collection that you want and you have a chance of receiving each skin of each rarity. I'm very interested to see how all this affects investing, I don't know if they're going to cycle out each collection and make it so you're going to be able to buy each one separately, but I don't know if they're doing this just to kind of mess with supply because Broken Fang kind of had it where the way where everybody was just trying to get the op fade so there was over like 9,000 of them in supply compared to like 3,000 of the other red tier skins so maybe it's something with that but it is really interesting. Besides that the other main stuff, stickers, agents, all that good stuff is very similar to the past two operations. We also of course have a new case to go alongside with the new operation, the Riptide case. And with that, some new knives including some long awaited emerald skins for knives such as the Huntsman, Bowie, Shadow Daggers, Felchin, and of course the Butterfly Knife. Unfortunately, these are the only screenshots I could find of all the new knives as they aren't on the official CSGO update page, but they definitely show a lot of the good ones. We have a new Lore Knife, Autotronic, Freehand, Brightwaters, and of course Gamma Dopplers which means Emerald Knives. So a ton of 6 skins that once again have been long awaited and I'm a huge fan of. I'm definitely going to be unboxing some of these cases in the upcoming days so hopefully my bad luck streak is finally going to come to an end. And just some other small tidbits added with this update, there is now a short competitive option that allows for max of 16 instead of 30 and still affects your skill group the same way which is a very interesting update. I wonder if the 30 round games are going to start affecting your skill group more and allow for easier rank up slash D ranks than the 16 round games, but I guess it's just going to be trial and error and kind of seeing if CSGO devs actually change the rank up system because it definitely needed some work. But the M4A1S also now does more damage to the body and the Desert Eagle does less. The A1S now apparently 4 shots to the body, I couldn't find any exact damage numbers on the Deagle but it is definitely a deserved nerf, a $700 gun one shot into the head is already skill rewarding enough, you shouldn't be able to double shot somebody to the body and just be able to kill them as that's just insanely OP so it's good to see this change. And I'm definitely gonna say that the A1S is viable again. I'm going to try it out in game and since I have some nice M4A1 investment skins I'm going to be more than happy about this change honestly. Also, 
Dust 2 has finally had some changes so you can't get auto spam down mid with absolutely no counter to it as a CT. T's can't exactly easily pick you off anymore as their roof or whatever you want to call it down suicide has been lowered in T spawn so T's also can't jump on the suicide box and can't pick off CT's off at all anymore. So definitely a great change and really good for CTs. And also really interesting as it is a month before the major begins, so I'm going to love to see how this changes gameplay on Dust 2. You can now also have a private queue with your friends in game, so you don't have to worry about taking a ton of extra unnecessary steps to do a 10 man with them, which is sick. It'd be perfect if it was on 128 tick, but I mean I'm fine with it being on Valve official service as well, which does mean 64 tick. It's definitely a huge improvement to prior. Besides that, there's just some small changes to Demolition and Arms Race. Nothing really too crazy as those aren't really game modes that most of the community plays, but it's good to see them being acknowledged. Grenades can also most importantly be dropped like real weapons now, which once again is a really interesting change and it's going to be great to see how it's used in pro play, especially on pistol rounds, and once again, especially just a month before the major. Always great to see things spiced up like this. There's also been some maps added and removed to the game. The ones removed specifically from when Operation Broken Fang was added to the game, and the new ones I don't really want to go too in depth in as if you buy the Operation you're going to be playing them in mission so I don't really need to. It's also 1am in the morning and I'm not trying to wake my mom up by making this video too long if I'm going to be honest so just go test it out for yourselves. Also with the grenades, final real thing I want to say. Imagine if you have like 5 people on CT side Inferno and everybody just drops like a smoke grenade over towards Banana. You can literally just stall the entire round with smokes at Banana, which is going to be really interesting because you could just leave some players without smokes and allow some other players to cycle them out completely at one bomb site, which is going to force T's to another bomb site, which is really really interesting and I'm going to love to see how that works. But Overall, with all that out of the way, I think that does wrap it up for this video. Definitely be sure to subscribe as I'm going to be having a ton of content out this week with all new Operation content. And of course, check out Skimport to start saving money if you plan on starting to invest and growing your inventory, as it is definitely time to start making moves. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.